right guys, so hey, welcome to the OFD channel. Hey, so today I wanted to talk about a watch that kind of snuck into the channel here. Um, it didn't really sneak in. It was something that was brought to my attention by my better half. She saw an ad for this watch. And um, being that she's always been a really big fan of my original version one Bambino, um, which I don't I don't share very often just because I love this watch and it just, it's a, it's a great little watch. But being a big fan of my version one, um, my wife uh, received an ad from um, Island Watch Company about the rose gold version of this watch being available at a really great price. And so I went in and checked it out. Now, I didn't do an unboxing of this watch just because of the fact that um, I was actually going to give this watch as a gift to my wife. But once I got it and I played with it for a little bit, I realized that it was something I just wanted to give her now. I didn't want to wait, um, you know, for a special occasion or anything like that. I just wanted to give it to her. But usually rose gold is not a color that I go for or my wife even goes for. But for some reason, the what they call the rose gold on this watch almost has this uh, copper cast appearance to it, which I really like. I, I gotta for, uh, You guys got to forgive me for the lights. I don't have special lights in here, so my... My overhead lights do cause quite a bit of glare. But this rose gold was just absolutely beautiful. So for the price they were offering this at through Island Watch, we just went ahead and picked it up. And my wife has basically not taken this off her wrist for about a week. So if you're not familiar with the Orient Bambino, they've been out for a number of years. I want to say maybe 2011 or 2012 these were introduced. Um, from watching forums and reading about different watches, I came um, to find out about them. I, I was already an owner of, you know, a Mako, um, an Array at the time, but I needed a dress watch, and so I picked up this one, the silver version, um, and I had it for a wedding. We traveled to a wedding out in Colorado, and I wore this watch. This was a great watch to have. It's just a great all-around watch. It, it wears wonderfully, and I'll get into the specs here in just a second, but just to give you a look at this watch, just kind of slowly here. Now, it's probably already got some little scratches on there. My wife does wear, wear a watch to wear a watch. She doesn't take it off for anything. And, um, but, you know, just an absolutely beautiful watch. As you guys can tell, it's got the domed mineral crystal, which is pretty famous on the, um, the Orient Bambinos. They're a heavy domed mineral crystal. I really love the way they look. It's something I just, I almost stare at this watch quite often just to look at this crystal. Now, in certain light, I will admit that the way the the crystal is, there is a slight bit of dis distortion sometimes in very bright light as far as looking at the dial, but it's something I get over. So um, specifications on this watch. This is the rose gold model. Uh, reference number on this is FER24001 B0. So um, great watch. You can find these things for probably right around $100. This has a 40 0.5 millimeter width on the case that's without the crown it's 45.5 from lug to lug basically 46 and this watch comes in at 12 millimeters thick so the lug opening is a little bit odd on these um, I keep mine on the original band quite often my wife actually likes this band it's a uh, leather patterned band but um, the lug opening is 20.5 millimeters on this so it's kind of a little bit an oddball. I've, I don't have really any problem with 20 millimeters, and I can even stuff a, a 22 on here uh, on mine if, if need be. So great, uh, you know, great versatile watch. The lug width isn't that big of a deal to me as far as being a little bit off. This has the in-house Orient uh, 48743 uh, movement in it. It's a 21 joule movement. It's non-hacking, non-windable. It is 2100, uh, or excuse me, 21,600 vibrations per hour. So it does have a really nice smooth uh, sweep of that second hand, as you can see there. But uh, yeah, just, you know, I've had the Bambino for a while. I've never really talked about uh, my Bambino. And so I figured I'd just go ahead and talk about this watch, give you guys a look-see at it. Um, just kind of take it off the, off the pillow here so you guys can look at the watch all the way around. You know, like I said, rose gold is not usually something I would go for, but being that this has more of a copper look, um, gosh, it's just, it's really pretty. I really like the way it, it looks. These do have a screw down case back, uh, stainless steel case back on this, of course, has your slight Orient design logo there. Let's see if I can get that to focus on the logo. So there you go. 
these are water resistant to 30 meters is what they advertise basically it's a you know rain washing dishes splash you don't want to submerge this watch in water it's it's obviously a dress watch so not something you're going to wear in the water anyway so yeah pick this up for the wife uh signed crown as you guys can see it has the orient logo with the the tigers excuse me the lions um, not sure if i can get that close enough but you guys can see the lions holding up the crown there um, so just a really, really nice watch for the money. I mean, people look at these Orient Bambinos and generally think it's an old uh, antique watch um, just because of the look and the styling. But these are just absolutely beautiful watches. And compared to what you can pick up like at a department store, you know, your, your Michael Kors or your Nixon or whatever else, just kind of quartz, really inexpensive, not really well-built watches. You can find one of these. You could probably pick up two of these for the price of some of those Michael Kors out there. This is a full in-house automatic movement built by Orient. And, you know, it's a watch that you can be proud of. You can pass down um, for the price. It shows you kind of understand uh, the quality that you get from a company like Orient and that you're not just looking for a little fashion statement to wear on your wrist. These Bambinos are just wonderful watches. Uh, I had this one. Excuse me. I've had this one. The silver model for um i got it in may of 2015 so i've had this thing for over a year now um, and it's 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 a great watch i don't wear it a whole lot i'm kind of more of a dive watch guy but when i you know sundays weekends when i put when i just wear something really comfortable uh, easy to tell time it looks classy or we're going out to dinner or something these bambinos are just great watches um, to have to be able to put on your wrist and wear out to certain occasions and i really you know like i said I wouldn't usually look at the rose gold version, but now that we've got this in our collection here at the house, I'm really happy. I'm really happy we picked this up. The price was right. You know, typical Island watch, it got to me in a, in a very quick amount of time. Great service. Um, they do wonderful stuff over there. Mark catches up with his customers and just makes sure they're satisfied with everything um, that they're receiving from them. So anyways, guys, wanted to stop just for a little bit today and tell you about this new Orient Bambino we have in the collection here at the house, the rose gold model. This is a version one, as you guys can tell, because of the indices, the hands. You go to the version two, I think you have the Roman numerals. Version three, you have the stick hands and a little bit different indices. Don't quote me on that, but I know there are multiple different versions out there. My favorite version is always the version one. It has that, um, that old you know, Omega Constellation look which is just absolutely madman beautiful. So anyways, guys, check it out. Um, if you guys don't usually like a plated watch, um, but want something a little different, check out the Rose Gold Bambino from Orient. I think you'll be happy with it. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Thank you so much for watching.